I'm working on a deck today and what I want to do is um, widen the gap between where the two decking boards come together. As you can see, right here the seam is just a little tight and I'm just afraid that water is not getting a good flow through there and in the Pacific Northwest we get a lot of rain and I just want to be uh, certain that I get good drainage going through there because the worst enemy on a deck is water. So I've already done the joint uh, below this one but uh, so we're going to widen this and I want to do it in such a way that it's going to come out looking like this where I don't have a lot of splintering on already the stained boards and I want to have a nice clean cut that's about oh maybe an eighth to a quarter of an inch wide. So the tools that I'm going to be using on this today are varied. Uh, first I'm going to be using a skill saw and this saw right here uh, has a nice blade to it. It has 40 teeth on it. You could use a 60 tooth blade if you want it as well. The tool below this is a 5 inch uh, skill saw that is very versatile and one of my favorite tools. Uh, and then I've also got a, a recip saw with a short blade. And for my measuring, what I'm going to be using is a rafter square uh, there in the middle. Uh, let's start with the top. Uh, basically a, a square, a utility knife. Uh, I've got a rafter scare, square. I've also got some blue painter's tape and I've got a, uh, a regular combination square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this on the tripod fixed here and then I'll show you kind of how I'm going to do this. So let's get in on the joint. Right about there. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure and uh, get my line here. So it's going to be this joint right here. I'm going to go kind of like a wide one that I've already cut here. And I'm going to go like this. Now, underneath this decking, what, what has been done in the construction is I have uh, two joists underneath this decking. And they're like this. And as you can see, by having two joists like this, if I have my seam coming like this, the drainage will go between the joist and not actually on top of the joist where you could get rot. So when I constructed this particular deck, um, the joists are sitting about right like this, so that allows for plenty of drainage below that. The problem is, is that this decking is too tight right here, so I want to open this seam up a little bit. All right, so that explains that. So I would highly recommend that you do a double joist where you put your decking seams together here on the two pieces of deck. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up with this previous one here. And that line is like that. So I'm actually going to cut this side right here. And I'm going to go about a quarter of an inch. I'm in the northwest. I have a lot of trees hanging above, fir trees and, and somewhat. And I want to, uh, to allow plenty of space there. All right, so there's my line that is straight. I'm going to square it off again. The next thing I'm going to do here is after my line, I'm going to take a utility knife and I'm going to cut this because I don't want to get any splinters after I saw flipping off and splinters into this part of the wood here. So by making this cut right here, that will prevent that. Now the second thing that I do to prevent the splittering, because I've got a nice stain on this wood and I don't want to see the splinters. So I'm going to take some blue painter's tape. I'm going to put it right on the edge where I'm going to cut. I'm going to press it down pretty good. Like that. And my cut will go right here. So my first saw, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my skill saw and I've got the depth set for a little less than one and a half inches. I don't want to go all the way through uh, particularly with this, I don't want to cut into this decking here or on the other side. I want to just go kind of straight down the middle there and I'm going to go along the edge of my cut that I did with my utility knife and with the painter's tape. And I'm, my head is basically right above the blade. I'm holding this down, so you got to be really careful. Uh, goggles on, the whole thing. my 
first cut. I did nick it a little bit right here, but I can repair that. My next saw, I'm going to take this, this little five inch, and I've got this set, the blade on this, is actually is set for one and a half inches on the deck. So I'm going to set that in there. Into the cut that I already did. middle, I'm just going to push it through just a little bit and I've got a nice cut going there right there. I'm going to take my recip saw and I'm going to carefully, now here's the trick, is that I'm not going to put pressure against this side of the blue tape. I'm going to put it against the side that I'm cutting against. Because that way if I put pressure this way against the tape, that I may end up with a rounded edge on the end, and I don't want it. I want a totally square edge. So I'm going to put pressure straight up and down, but I'm going to lean more this way. Flip it around. Same thing. I have done some good preventative. Now this gap is a little wider. Most people would probably do an eighth. Where I've got the trees above me, I'm going to go just a little wider because I don't. This deck is 16 years old. I don't want to have to replace this deck. Now I peel this tape back. I'm not going to rip it straight up. I'm going to kind of go to the side at an angle as to not get any splinter pull up. And there you have it. So I've got a nice square cut. It's clean. There's some debris still in there and I'm perfectly in between my two joists and uh, I'm bring on the rain. <laughs>